wait. Yes, okay. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. If you are new here, great things are going to happen today. So I haven't vlogged in quite some time, but I decided I really, really want to get back on my vlog game in the new year and I am going to. You will see. Okay, you will see. I made my morning coffee. As you guys saw, I got an espresso for Christmas and I'm still learning how to use it. Don't come for me. I love my espresso. I just really wanted to stop buying coffees out because it's a waste of money. I know it is. Anyway, I did my makeup and my hair for no reason today. I am still in my pajamas, so don't mind that. But I got a package in the mail yesterday and my dog is trying to go into the bathroom. He likes to sleep in my tub. So I got a package yesterday and I just, I have to share it, I do. So um, I think a couple of weeks ago, I randomly decided that I wanted to get into perfume. During my research, I just, I realized that so many of them are really expensive and I've never actually smelled any of these perfumes in person. So I decided that it wasn't gonna be a smart decision for me to buy all of these whole full-size perfumes. I bought a few samplers. I also bought a few um, impressions, which I'll talk about more in a second. And then I bought one full size because it was a good deal. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new perfumes to wear. If you are into perfume, keep on watching. Otherwise, skip ahead. Also, you guys, I have some very exciting news coming up in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. Um, I don't want to talk about it just yet because I'm still trying to process it myself. First fragrance TikTok made me buy. I randomly watched this one video and instantly bought it after I watched that video. The first one is called Vanilla Musk and it's from the brand Nemat. So it is an oil fragrance, which I actually really like because I feel like the application is pretty easy and it lasts a long time. It's just, I don't know, vanilla. <laughs> so good if you love vanilla or you love fragrances that are not too strong. This is your gal. And I think this was about $20. Next up, I have three impressions of fragrances. So what an impression is, is basically a dupe, I guess. I think that would be a good word for it. Um, this company called Oil Perfumery, based in Canada, is really well known for all of their dupes. They dupe almost every popular fragrance and they make it into an oil and i've heard so many good things about this company they also have a ton of amazing reviews on their website and a lot of people were saying that their scents were really accurate first perfume that i got is santal 33 by le labo and this is their impression once again but there are hundreds of reviews saying that they're very accurate this is definitely a different fragrance. I'm not sure of the notes. I don't have the notes on hand, but it's different. It's not normally my style, but I think if I wanted to smell expensive or I was going out somewhere, I would reach for this scent. 
And then I got Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. And I also don't know how to describe this. So yeah, I'm definitely really qualified to make a video like this. I smell some sort of flower. Sort of smells like my grandma, but in a good way. Like it's not too old smelling. The last one I got from Oil Perfumery is Baccarat Rouge 540 from, I cannot pronounce that, but it's Baccarat Rouge. This is probably my favorite scent out of the three. Actually, it is 1000%. It's probably one of my most favorite scents. It's very sweet. It smells almost like candy. I love that. Oh, this is amazing. 10 out of 10. If you like sweet scents, go get this one. Next up, I got three fragrances from fragrance.com. I got two sample sizes and I got one full size. First one is Flower Bomb by, who is it by? Victor and Rolf, I think. And I haven't smelled this one yet. So let's try this. Hmm. I think it's supposed to be some sort of vanilla. It smells nice. It smells like a very expensive vanilla. It's not too strong. I think this would be really long lasting on the skin. And I feel like I would use this when I'm going to a nicer event. I wouldn't wear this on a daily basis, but I really like this one. This second one is called Alien by Thierry Mugler. And I haven't smelled this one either. <laughs> I'm so bad at describing. I smell floral. And something else I can't exactly pinpoint. But I, I like this. I think it smells expensive again, once again. I like this. I like this. It it smells very sophisticated. I think that's a good word to use. And the last perfume is the Versace Crystal Noir Eau de Toilette. Is that even how you pronounce it? I don't know. Don't come for me. I'm learning. I'm learning about the perfume world, which is insane. I love the packaging. This is like my first nice perfume. I've never owned an expensive perfume myself. Um, here it is. This packaging is beautiful. I'm gonna be so sad if I don't like this scent. Wow, who am I with this? I have no idea. It smells like a floral. It's not too strong. It's supposed to be a blend of gardenia, peony, amber, sandalwood, orange blossom that makes any woman feel elegant. And I do see that, I think. I feel like if I went to, into an office, I would wear this perfume. It smells very clean. It smells like you have your life put together. Okay guys, it's a couple hours later and I just got a package at my door. I've been waiting for this for about a month now and it was definitely an investment. I don't even know if it'll fit me. I'm gonna try them on right now. I love the way that their stuff arrives. It's so cute. I got the Molina pants. They are faux leather pants from Aritzia. And they look like this. And I got a size zero. I normally wear a zero or a one in jeans. And I read a bunch of reviews saying that these stretch out since they're faux leather. <sighs> and I got these in the short length cause I'm almost 5'1". So pretty short. Okay, I'm gonna try these on and I'll be right back. I will say that these are a little bit tight. And they don't make my butt look that good. But as you can see, there's some gapping, gaping right here. So I don't know. Overall, I like these. I am kind of curious to see what a size two would fit like. Um, 
but I, overall I do think these are at a point where they can stretch and I can wear them in a bit. I really, I really just wanted pants that were nicer and weren't just jeans or suit pants. And I really like these. I just have to think about whether or not I should size up or leave them as is. I'm not totally sure. Okay, so it is about 2.30 right now and I've been working like all day. I want to take a break. It's kind of weird, like working from home, it's really hard to take set breaks. Like I never take a lunch break. I'm always just doing stuff on my lunch because in reality, there's nobody to talk to during lunch break or anything like that. Um, but I have a meeting at 4 p.m. and I want to make sure Bo gets a walk today. I'm worried that if I end up working till 5.30ish, it'll be too dark to walk and I don't want to walk him at night. I don't do that. Did you guys see that story that happened in the Bay Area about a woman who was walking her dog and somebody assaulted her and stole her dog? I think that happened a week or two ago now and they don't know where the dog is. I haven't had any leads and they gave her like two black eyes. It was really sad. So we don't do that. Okay, so we're back. We were out for almost 25 minutes and we did almost a mile, not quite. Um, we stopped to smell things and whatnot. Okay, I'm gonna make a quick smoothie, protein smoothie with spinach, banana, mango, vanilla protein powder. This is vegan protein. I actually really like the taste of this one. And some almond milk and honey. I've been obsessed with that combo recently. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Cheers. Hello everyone, it is 6.08 right now and I pretty much finished with work for the day, like just now. Um, we had a very productive meeting at 4 p.m. which was like an hour and then I did some work after that. I'm about to bake some chicken tenders in the oven for dinner and maybe something else, I don't know. And I'm gonna have some wine, a little bit of wine for fun. Jonathan just got here. We're going to watch a Sharks hockey game together right now. So I've got this jacket on. What are you doing, baby bell? Hmm? He has a little antler chew that he's chewing on. Okay, so my wine of choice today is this red Moscato from Barefoot, and I've never tried it, but I did try one of their other wines, which I really liked because they're very sweet. Beautiful. Mm. Taste test. What are you getting, you getting hints of anything in there? What would you pair that with? I'm getting hints of berries. Berries. You getting hints of grapes in the wine? Any grapes in there? Yeah. Oh, really? And oh. you know, I would pair this with chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. What a coincidence. She's making chicken tenders. Anyway, decent. Which I like one is it. it? <laughs> That's a win. We're watching America's Next Top Model, and this show is hilarious. I used to love this show as a kid. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I have to show you. I have to show you guys. Hold on. I'll just do it here. I ordered this off of Etsy. A... Let me turn the black so you can see it better. A poop bag, you know, dog mom things, with Bo's name on it. Bogota, right there, and it's so nicely made. I love it. 10 out of 10 would recommend. And then I also bought this on Amazon. This is just a coupon. I bought this on Amazon. It's a marketing book. Hello, everybody. It is 10:27 right now. I am so tired. I am going to get ready for bed and go to bed because I'm going to wake up around 7 a.m. tomorrow to hopefully work out in the morning. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Comment down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Great things are going to happen tomorrow.